This is amazing. Now we have Apple intelligence. This is AI from Apple. Welcome to Apple Park. We're glad you could join us for what promises to be an action-packed and memorable WWDC. Introducing Apple Intelligence. If you're an iPhone user or if you're a Mac user, definitely this is going to be an important update. Apple is introducing AI into your iPhone and also to your Mac computers. As you can see here, AI is completely integrated with your iPhone. It also got integrated with your iPad and MacBook or any Mac devices. You are able to write using the power of AI. You are able to proofread and rewrite using AI. You are able to summarize, list key points, make the data a table of data, and also in the list format. You are able to create images on your phone and also on your computer. Just by circling, you are able to convert your normal design or text to an image. This is going to be exciting. Next, we can also create emojis using AI. The Siri is integrated with AI. Not only that, ChatGPT seamlessly integrated on your iPhone, iPad, and on your Mac computers. This is going to increase your productivity. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Apple Intelligence, AI from Apple. There are tons of updates in WWDC 2024 about AI. I'm going to take you through a list of features that got released, but before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Apple Intelligence is the personal intelligence system that puts powerful generative models right at the core of your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Apple Intelligence will enable your iPhone, iPad, and Mac to understand and create language as well as images and take action for you to simplify interactions across your apps. And what's truly unique is its understanding of your personal context. For example, your iPhone can prioritize your notifications to minimize unnecessary distractions while ensuring you don't miss something important. Apple Intelligence also powers brand new writing tools that you can access system-wide to feel more confident in your writing. Writing tools can rewrite, proofread, and summarize text for you, whether you're working on an article or blog post, condensing ideas to share with your classmates, or looking over a review before you post it online. And they're available automatically across Mail, Notes, Safari, Pages, Keynote, and even your third-party apps. In addition to language, Apple Intelligence offers a host of capabilities for images. From photos to emojis and GIFs, it's so much fun to express ourselves visually. And now you can create totally original images to make everyday conversations even more enjoyable. And because Apple Intelligence understands the people in your photo library, you can personalize these images for your conversations. So when you wish a friend a happy birthday, you can create an image of them surrounded by cake, balloons, and flowers to make it extra festive. And the next time you tell mom that she's your hero, you can send an image of her in a superhero cape to really land your point. You can create images in three unique styles, sketch, illustration, and animation. In addition to messages, this experience is built into apps throughout the system, like Notes, Freeform, Keynote, and Pages. Another way Apple Intelligence is deeply impactful is its ability to take action across your apps. The greatest source of tools for taking actions is already in your pocket with the apps you use every day. And we have designed Apple Intelligence so it can tap into these tools and carry out tasks on your behalf. So you can say things like, pull up the files that JAWS shared with me last week, or show me all the photos of mom, Olivia, and me, or play the podcast that my wife sent the other day. We're designing Apple Intelligence to be able to orchestrate these and hundreds of other actions for you, so you can accomplish more while saving time. There's one more critical building block for personal intelligence, and that's an understanding of your personal context. Apple Intelligence is grounded in your personal information and context with the ability to retrieve and analyze the most relevant data from across your apps, as well as to reference the content on your screen, like an email or calendar event you're looking at. This can be incredibly useful in so many moments throughout the day. 
Suppose one of my meetings is being rescheduled for late in the afternoon, and I'm wondering if it's going to prevent me from getting to my daughter's play performance on time. Apple Intelligence can process the relevant personal data to assist me. It can understand who my daughter is, the play details she sent several days ago, the time and location for my meeting, and predicted traffic between my office and the theater. So it's aware of your personal data without collecting your personal data. It also includes an on-device semantic index that can organize and surface information from across your apps. When you make a request, Apple Intelligence uses its semantic index to identify the relevant personal data and feeds it to the generative model so they have the personal context to best assist you. Many of these models run entirely on device. Private cloud compute allows Apple Intelligence to flex and scale its computational capacity and draw on even larger server-based models for more complex requests while protecting your privacy. These models run on servers we've especially created using Apple Silicon. These Apple Silicon servers offer the privacy and security of your iPhone from the silicon on up. When you make a request, Apple Intelligence analyzes whether it can be processed on device. If it needs greater computational capacity, it can draw on private cloud compute. Your data is never stored or made accessible to Apple. What does the weather look like for tomorrow at Muir Beach? Oh wait, I meant Muir Woods. The forecast is calling for clear skies in the morning near Muir Woods National Monument. Sometimes it takes me a beat to figure out what I actually want to ask Siri. And now it follows right along. Siri also maintains conversational context, so I can follow up and say, create an event for a hike there tomorrow at 9 a.m. Hike is scheduled for 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. on June 11th. I didn't have to mention Muir Woods again. Siri understood what I meant when I said there. How can I write a message now and have it be delivered tomorrow? Siri understood what feature I was referring to, and now I have step-by-step -step guidance on how to use the new Send Later feature in Messages. Apple Intelligence will provide Siri with on-screen awareness. For example, say a friend texts you his new address. Right from the Messages thread, you can say, add this address to his contact card, and Siri will take care of it. You'll be able to say, show me my photos of Stacy in New York wearing her pink coat, and Siri will bring those right up. Then you might say, make this photo pop, and Siri will enhance it just like that. And Siri will be able to take actions across apps. So you could say, add this to my note with Stacy's bio. And it will jump from the Photos app to the Notes app to make it happen. So you might ask Siri to take a Light Trails video in Pro Camera by moment. Or ask Siri to share a summary of your meeting notes in an email you're drafting to a teammate in Superhuman. You'll be able to ask Siri to find something when you can't remember if it was in an email, a text, or a shared note like some book recommendations that a friend sent you a while back. Or for times when you're filling out a form and need to input your driver's license, Siri will be able to find a photo of your license, extract your ID number, and type it into the form for you. Siri, when is my mom's flight landing? What's awesome is that Siri actually cross-references flight details that my mom shared with me by email with real-time flight tracking to give me her up-to-date arrival time. What's our lunch plan? I don't always remember to add things to my calendar, and so I love that Siri can help me keep track of plans that I've made in casual conversation, like this lunch reservation my mom mentioned in a text. How long will it take us to get there from the airport? I haven't had to jump from mail to messages to maps to figure out this plan. And all of these updates to Siri are also coming to iPad and Mac, where Siri's new design is a total game changer. Rewrite gives you different versions of what you've written so you can choose the one you like best. Say you're emailing your English professor. With Proofread, you can nail grammar, word choice, and sentence structure to put your best foot forward. Use Summarize to bring out the key points, and then add them as a TLDR right at the top. Smart reply in mail. For example, when you need to RSVP to an event, you will now see suggestions for your response based on the email. If you say you'll be there, mail identifies questions you were asked in the invite and offers intelligent selections so you can quickly choose your responses. Your drafted response incorporates your answers. So with just a few taps, you're ready to send it off with all the right details. 
Instead of previewing the first few lines of each email that don't always convey the most useful information, you can now see summaries visible right from your email list. And if you jump into a particularly long email when you're in a hurry, you can tap to reveal a summary at the top of the email and cut right to the chase. We're also elevating priority messages. Apple Intelligence can understand the content of the emails you receive, determine what's most urgent, and surface it right at the top, like a dinner invite for tonight or a boarding pass for your trip this afternoon. Just like in mail, your priority notifications appear at the top of the stack, letting you know what to pay attention to at a glance. And to make scanning your notifications faster, they're summarized. So when the group chat is blown up, you can quickly see that Savita booked the house and Leah is arriving early, right from your lock screen. Apple Intelligence also enables an all new focus called Reduce Interruptions. It understands the content of your notifications to selectively surface only the ones that might need immediate attention, like a text about today's daycare pickup. Genmoji, just provide a description and you'll see your Genmoji appear right before your eyes, along with more options to choose from. This is great in those times when you're updating a friend about your relaxing weekend, getting the group chat excited about brunch, or complaining about the rowdy squirrel right outside your window. And because Apple Intelligence is aware of who's in your photo library, you can simply pick someone and create a Genmoji that looks just like them. These are perfect for sharing with friends as a sticker, reacting to messages with a tap back, and you can even add Genmoji in line in your messages. Image Playground. This is a new way to create playful images in just seconds. You can choose from a range of concepts like themes, costumes, accessories, places, and more. When you select them, they get added to your playground. No need to engineer the perfect prompt. In a few seconds, you'll see Apple Intelligence creates a preview of what your image could look like. A moment later, you'll see more previews you can swipe through. This all happens on device, so you have the freedom to experiment and create as many images as you want. This is great for quickly responding to your friends with just the right image. ImageWand can transform a rough sketch into a polished image that complements your notes and makes them more visual. And it's available right in your tool palette. Suppose you want a better image for your architectural history course. With ImageWand, you can circle your rough sketch using Apple Pencil to open up an image playground within your note. ImageWand uses on-device intelligence to analyze your sketch and words and creates an image for you. But what's really fun is that you can even circle empty space and it will pull out context in the surrounding area to suggest the ideal image to go with your note. Now, the new cleanup tool will identify distracting objects in the background so you can make them disappear without accidentally changing your subject. Plus, searching for photos and videos is much more convenient because you can now use natural language phrases. So you can search for really specific things like Maya skateboarding in a tie-dye shirt or Katie with stickers on her face. Search in videos is also more powerful with the ability to find a particular moment in the middle of a video clip. So you can go right to the relevant segment when you search for that video of Maria cartwheeling on the grass. Just type a description and it can interpret that learning to fish involves things like water, docks, fishing rods, and boats. Using its language and image understanding, Apple Intelligence picks out the best photos and videos. And then it crafts a storyline with unique chapters that are based on themes identified from your photos and arranges them into a movie with its own narrative arc. So now I can watch a wonderful memory that starts with my son practicing on the dock, transitions to fishing on the boat, and finishes with us holding the prize catch. In the Notes app, you can now record and transcribe audio to capture detailed notes while staying present in the moment. And when your recording is finished, Apple Intelligence generates a summary to help you recall the key points at a glance. Recordings, transcriptions, and Apple Intelligence-powered summaries are also coming to the phone app. And when you start a recording in a live call, participants are automatically notified, so no one is surprised. Chat GPT from OpenAI, powered by GPT-40. First, we build support into Siri. So Siri can tap into Chat GPT's expertise when it might be helpful for you. 
For example, if you need menu ideas for an elaborate meal to make for friends using some freshly caught fish and ingredients from your garden, you can just ask Siri. Siri determines that ChatGPT might have good ideas for this, asks your permission to share your question, and presents the answer directly. You can also include photos with your questions. If you want some advice on decorating, you can take a picture and ask, what kind of plants would go well on this deck? Siri confirms if it's okay to share your photo with ChatGPT and brings back relevant suggestions. It's a seamless integration. In addition to photos, you can also ask questions related to your documents, presentations, or PDFs. We've also integrated ChatGPT into the system-wide writing tools with Compose. You can create content with ChatGPT for whatever you're writing about. Suppose you want to create a custom bedtime story for your six-year-old who loves butterflies and solving riddles. Put in your initial idea and send it to ChatGPT to get something back she'll love. Compose can also help you tap into ChatGPT's image capabilities to generate images in a wide variety of styles to illustrate your bedtime story. You'll be able to access ChatGPT for free without creating an account. Your requests and information will not be logged. And for ChatGPT subscribers, you'll be able to connect your account and access paid features right within our experiences. ChatGPT integration will be coming to iOS 18, iPadOS 18, and macOS Sequoia later this year. Generative intelligence to Xcode for developing apps using Swift and SwiftUI, with features like on-device code completion and smart assistance for Swift coding questions. So that's Apple Intelligence. Apple Intelligence will be available to try out in US English this summer. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.